Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Adventure Quest. My name is Rec. I have not played this game in so damn long, but I know that it's going to be amazing. It's so weird because I had to download a launcher for this thing, even though I remember like way, way back when that it used to just specifically be like browser based, which was awesome because that meant like I could play it at school and that's most of the time what I ended up doing when I was at school was playing this game, especially in study hall. Um, but now that Flash is no longer a thing on the web, um, you actually have to like download a launcher for it and everything like that, which is fine. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, but I'm really, really excited to get back into it because I, I used to love this game and I really wanted to do some like nostalgic kind of games. Uh, so there's, there's way more coming down the line, but for now I figured I'd uh, come back to Adventure Quest because I just had a lot of fun playing it way, way back when, and hopefully it hasn't changed too much. So, let's go ahead and create a character. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Fighter, because, uh, I usually go with Mage, but a Fighter would be pretty dope, because I believe they use swords and shields? I'm pretty sure. I know they use swords, I just can't remember if they use shields at the same time. Um, but regardless, I figured, why the heck not? Make a warrior, because that would be pretty dope. I mean, I'm gonna try and stay true to what I used to go with, and that is, uh, these colors right here. Which is kind of funny, because I, I, I don't know why. I used to always go with this hair. I'd either choose between the gold or this color, which is kind of like a teal. Um, but I, I, I used to go with the gold because it reminded me of like a Super Saiyan. And then, like, I was really, really into Dragon Ball way forever ago. And I, I don't know, this color has just always been one of my, as you can tell by my hair, uh, it's always been like a favorite color of mine. So, we go ahead and go through there. Sweet! Let's get into the game. Oh my god, hello. Welcome to the ever-expanding world of lore. Is that really what the whole world is? They just called it lore? Come on, man. Vast power and riches await those brave enough to challenge her lands. Begin your adventures as a mighty warrior, a mystical mage, or a dexterous rogue. Um, I almost went for the rogue, but I, I don't think I ever went for the rogue. I've gone for a warrior like once, and I know they were pretty fun. Um, but most of the time I used to pick mage. So, uh, this is very loud. Gr <laughs> Greetings and salutations, Rec. Welcome to the town of Babylon, home of the Guardian Tower. I am Artix Krieger, right, Artix. Uh, resili- oh, resident. I was gonna say resilient. Paladin and your host for this tutorial. Ah, right. Great forces, both good and evil, and everything in between are gathering strength across the lands. New quests and wars happen weekly, so there's always something fun to explore. First, let us take a quick tour of the town. The little red fellow on the left is Twilly. Twilly is a Moglin. I remember Twilly. They are a peaceful race, and most Moglins practice nature, magic, and healing. I strictly remember one evil Moglin. Twilly has many quests for you to complete, and will share with you any rumors he has heard. Moglins just love to gossip. Just say hello, and he gets quite talkative. Uh, now let me show you the buildings in town. Oh, cool. An inn! Yogar! Uh, Spitch Weird Bones. Okay, so I'm assuming healing, and then being able to buy weapons and stuff. Um, general use armor and shields is where it is. Oh, melee. Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, ba ba da ba ba da ba not forget to say hello to Black Hawk. He's a fighter class trainer, which I believe that's what I went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went. I, okay, so my trainer is in the inn. Awesome. Robina, the hoods rain shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm assuming as in Robin. Uh, she's a rogue trainer. Prepare to keep uh, some distance between you and your enemy. Then this is a place for you. Well, nope, that's not me. Here's a frog zard hunter. This guy specializes in hunting down the rarest of zards. Oh, I remember zards! Oh, zards were so cool. I like the word zards too because it kind of reminded me of uh, the zords from uh, Power Rangers. Wow, it took a second. Uh, visit a shop. Uh, shop. Bleh. Visit a shop to find equipment specifically designed for zard fighting. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, combat trainers. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can increase your stats. I am assuming the attributes? Okay, Sir Lancelor is an all-around trainer for beginners, raising any of your stats up to 75 points. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Uh, he does the intellect, uh, cha, and luck. 
Oh, charisma. Okay, so yeah, that is for attributes, which I'm assuming I'm probably going to need more strength, endurance, possibly charisma? Uh, would-be warriors would, uh, should visit Grimwell to get- Oh, stir dex and endurance. Oh, okay, so Grimwell would need to be my dude, since I technically want to be, uh, a warrior. Uh, then, of course, clicking on the mountains will randomly select a mod- That's different! They took away the little battle button? There used to be a battle button! No fucking way. Okay, this hero is a guardian tower. Guardians are the Elite Protectors of Lore with access to special equipment and the ability to take on every quest and area they can find. Inside the Guardian Tower, you'll find tons of powerful equipment that only Guardians may wield, plus the Guardian Arena. arena. That scared me, okay. Uh, that sound came from the edge of town. I know the sounds of undead movement anywhere. Better go investigate. <gasps> it's a death knight. That's a weird death knight. A foul death knight approaches. With my help, this is a very different Death Knight from what I'm used to in uh, World of Warcraft. We'll send this bag of bones back from the nether. Why am I wearing incredible armor? What the hell am I wearing? Look at that. I will explain the basis of combat. Okay, I, I don't really need to know about the combat. I don't want to... I, I know about all of this. This is... Resistances, all that kind of stuff. Right now, I, I can remember that. Oh my god, ow. Oh, this is different. Whoa. Oh, yeah, and things still cost SP in order to use them. Okay. Did I, I didn't have a shield equipped for some reason. Okay, armor. I don't have any pets. Ally assist. Oh. Choose your. Oh, cool. You can choose different allies. Okay, well, I don't have any skills right now, and uh, his weakness obviously is light since he is a dark character. As you can see up in the top corner there, I can't really mouse over it, but. That there means that he's dark, so obviously he's going to be affected to light. And my element notifier is just kind of all over the place. All right. Fuck him up. Dude, get borked. Why is he only doing one damage? All right, he's down. Nice. Ooh, did I level up? Oh, no. No, I didn't. Oh, I did level up. Okay, never mind. I thought for a second- okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, because I'm level 1 now. Cool. The undead do not usually appear this close to the hills of Adalon. Something must be driving or leading them this way. I don't think I'm- uh, 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 Dark Drakoth! He's an incredibly powerful Draco Lich. Alright. <laughs> this is a powerful foe, Wreck. But I know we can defeat it to get- Oh no, Wreck, no! Undead monstrosity, I shall send you back to the grave and avenge Wreck. Did I, like, die? I just straight up died. Oh, that's different. My, 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 what do we have here? What have we here? Sorry. Have we a little accident? Did we have a little- God damn, I can't speak for shit. Welcome to my realm, unfortunate one. I am a servant of death. Have a serve source. Uh, fear not, even in death there is much adventure to be had. In my realm, you can choose to- You can find ways to change your name or untrained stats you wish to remove elsewhere. Oh. You may also journey through my realm to collect hourglasses and can get a reward if you bring me enough. I sense you have a greater destiny, so I will not keep you in my realm. You are chosen to do great things. However- you will owe me a favor for this. Oh. Wreck! I knew you would not be defeated so easily. I can hold this beast at bay myself, but I cannot defeat it without your hit. I got hit one time and I died. What makes you think this is going to be any different? For a foe this powerful, you should get appropriate equipment. I have some spare light weapons. Tell me which one you want and we can fight together to destroy this must. Oh, pick a weapon. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Beautiful. Shimmy crossbow, step to stuff. Okay, so essentially I just have to pick the axe. Because all of these would be like useless to me. Dude, that's so cool. Look at this freaking awesome scepter. I only wish that I went with a mage now just so I could have that scepter. But whatever. Yes, I'm sure. Jerk. Inventory. My weapons. Nice. Nice. Okay, I don't think he has anything else. Okay. Okay. Continue. 
Uh, well chosen, Rack. Now we shall defeat Dakraft together. Nice. Hold on, I haven't equipped my thing yet. Please don't kill me in one hit. Also, you said he was really powerful, but he's level one. How did that not kill me this time? What was the difference? He weakened him, I am assuming. Time to die. Death upon ye. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Jesus. Not. There's the power that I was looking for, man. Also, why am I wearing such big armor? What happened to my shield? Can I not? Can I wear a shield? Why do I have to put on a shield every single time? Let me wear the shield. Does the shield take down my attack? Nope. Okay, I missed. Just kill him. Just, just get rid of him for me, please. Thank you. Nice. Well thought, Wreck. I would like to tell you about the classes of AQ. Classes of jobs you select that offer powerful boosts and abilities. You gain access to these abilities when you equip the appropriate armor. You need to equip rogue leathers to use rogue class skills, for example. Class armor will also become more powerful as you train in that class. So they remain useful for a longer period of time than in most equipment. There are various tiers of classes. The first you will find are warrior, rogue, mage, and scholar. Oh, what the hell is a scholar? Later classes will require having mastered one or more. T why is it ore? As in like ore, mining ore. More. Wow, that's a that's a weird thing on their part. All right. In summary, seeking out new classes and training in them can give you an incredibly powerful and unique abilities. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. I want to introduce you to some great people you will meet in your travels. So long for now. Okay. All right. It's uh, it's a lot of people. I don't know who that guy is, but he's really happy. Actually, everybody is happy. Except for this dude, he's very dark and brooding. And this guy as well, but he kind of reminds me of Davey Havoc from AFI. Thanks for keeping the death time from us making a meal of unsuspecting- Oh, okay, yeah. You found most of us here in town along with our last friends. I think this is like all the people from town that are just like, yeah, I'm, I don't really want to- Okay, cool. Today's events is a travel map. Changes often uh, can increase your experience level. Get experience to grow your level, gang. Go Z tokens. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. If you ever need help, have questions, uh, visit Battle on Forms. Alright, no, I didn't. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for pointing me to everywhere else to. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to go with Warlick because I believe he. Or no, Twilly. Twilly, he can heal me. Twilly can heal me. Oh my god. What? What is this? What is this? Wait, what is this? Fireware pack, gatekeeper, plus push. Oh, this is for- yeah, no, I don't wanna- not now, thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Guardian- Guardian offer, you have an hour. Cool. Alright, well, let's fight some shit, I guess. I'm using the wrong weapon. Alright, let's get a long sword. Good lord. Good lord! God, dude, he just hit him with a fucking tree. Come on, man. What is that? I love that he heals me after every hit. That's beautiful. Although he only heals one, it's still helpful. All right. It could have healed me more, but whatever. As long as the enemy has less health than I do, I'm in good standing. I can deal with that. Why does Twilly look so weird, by the way? Look at him. Look at, <laughs> look at his little face. He looks so funny. He looks terrified. What's going on here? Why am I this? Anyways. I'm just gonna kill this thing and let's go. Ugh. Okay, so yeah. If I would have attacked him with the light weapon that I had on, I would have ended up healing him because he's negative 200 for light. But if I had a darkness weapon, I could hella kick his ass. But since I do not have that, and I don't have much go Oh, I do have 1500 gold. I should go to the weapon shop after this and try to find some decent weapons. Hopefully they're not too expensive. I do not remember how expensive these fucking things were. Beautiful. Ah, next level. Cool. I am now level two. I need to, uh, where was it that I needed to go? The inn? 
Yeah, he sells starting gear. Oh. Uh, spare gear for starting. Have you have a look? You can take these items temporarily, in which case they disappear. Log out. Or for 20 Z tokens and your current item, you can take them permanently. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. So these are just, this is literally just like, like I just need stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, for players, 1 to 50, 51 to 100, 100, oh my god. Jesus. All right. Let's take a look at some of the weapons. Oh, oh, they're really not that expensive. Oh, cool. Oh, that's good. I was afraid that they were going to be super duper expensive. Okay. So, I should probably, I need to make sure that I'm only sticking around to level 2 for now. I don't want to buy too terribly many. I do want to buy a dark sword. And then I also want to buy probably a fire blade. Yeah, because the next fire blade I won't get until level 5. So, I should at least buy one of those. And then dark I wouldn't get into. I think everything isn't until like level 5. But I can get this sweet ice sword as well. I could actually really get a lot of these things if I really wanted to. Okay. Let's see what you got for armor. Hello? Okay, thanks. Avenger. What? The Avenger armor holds the warmth and spirit of Frostfall in it. Protecting you from fire and light attacks. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Weird. I kind of want to buy this. You know what? I'm going to, because that's fire and light. So then I don't have to buy two of these, you know what I mean? Oh, and these are level 5. Oh, I can't get anything else anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and battle more. Ooh, treasure! Oh, pre oh. Three health or mo for more potions to stop it. Oh, okay, okay. Just brew health potions, I guess. Dude, hell yeah! Oh. I wasn't clicking on a rip in a sky. What the hell? Oh, that's why. Okay, that's fine. I want to fight stuff. Ooh, ooh, good. Damn it. Okay, I need to be able to... It's, it's dumb that I can't... Equip stuff before... What do I look like? Yo, that's dope! Oh, that's so cool looking. Okay, I need a... Um, didn't I get a darkness? I did get a darkness blade, okay. Uh, so, darkness and earth, but darkness does more. Cool. Mess him up! Dude, this sword is dope. God, I missed this game. I might even play this on my off time. This is actually kind of fun, to be honest with you. I, I, God, it's, it's like, it's so weird. Because, like, you think of these, like, you think of these really, really old games that you used to play when you were a kid. And you just, you're kind of like, you look back at them and be like, oh, yeah, that was... That was fun when I used to play it, but I don't think I'd probably like it now. But just going back into a lot of the games that I used to play way, way back when, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how much fun they actually are. Whale Zard. Oh, I'm going to be fighting a lot of Zards, huh? Energy. Oh, did I get an energy weapon? Please tell me I got that energy. I did not. Damn it. I do like the Zards, though. The Zards, I really did miss because, like, they're so iconic for this game. Also, Z tokens is new for me. I don't remember ever dealing with Z tokens. Is there a way that I can... Uh, ooh, yay! Ready inventory before battle. Okay, cool. There was a way that I could do that. Cool. Alright, one more battle and I think we should call it good. Flibbity gibbet? What the hell? Ooh, fire does a... Ooh, earth does a lot, though. Okay, uh, let's see. Dang, son. The only thing that sucks that I do remember is that if your follower did the wrong type of, like, element, then that would heal the enemy. So, if this was, like, an like an Earth Zard or, or anything like that, and it had a negative, like, 100 or 200%, that would heal them because of Twilly. And that always sucked. That always made me really sad. Actually, you know what? Let's... Let's at least get to the next level. Let's get to level three, and then I'll be happy. Ooh, health potions again. Do I have a lot of freaking potions? Do those disappear after I log out? Dragon blade? 
During your travels, you could, could, could this be legendary? If so, just dra drag his jackal. We try, yes. Bah, no luck. The sword of feet, perhaps that only guardians are able to fight. Fucking really? 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 You have to. <laughs> How much is a guardian? A guardian's 20 bucks? I swear to God, I remember the guardians being only like. Five bucks way, way back when. Anyways, I'm not gonna do that. It's fine. I don't I don't need a dragon blade. I can I can buy one later. Oh my god! He's dead anyway. I gotta kill one more monster. Ooh, Frogzard. Oh, see, this is an earth guy. Okay. Oh, but he does not have negative. He just will not get hurt that bad from Earth. Okay, so I need a wind weapon? Oh, I didn't get a wind weapon, did I? Dude, this freaking sword is deep. Look at how freaking cool these weapons are, dude. That was always the really, really cool thing about this game. Is that a lot of the armor and the weapons were just so, like, over the top. They were just ridiculously, like, cool looking. Even the lower level. I mean, this is a level 2 blade. I, th I think it's a level 2 blade. I'm pretty sure it is, right? Yeah, this is like a level 2 blade. But yeah, it looks like that. I mean, like, come on, man. It's amazing. Like, it just looks really cool for such a low level. You know what I mean? Level up! Cool, now I'm level 3. I don't think it really matters that much, but I'm, I'm glad that I got to level 3. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for me. We didn't really explore too terribly much, but I really just wanted to kind of get back into this i honestly do think that i'm probably gonna play this on my off time because i'm actually having fun with it but anyways let me know if you guys have any nostalgic games that you would like to see me play um i have a few more in the back pocket that i would really really like to get to at some point or another i don't know when but hopefully it'll be just as fun as this one so thanks for joining me you can get the game in the description below if you want to check the site out for battle on that way you guys can get to it easily enough. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.